Hey folks, Noble Rambler here. Forever Skies comes out June 22nd. I was able to get a hold of it early. And I decided that the face cam might be a little bit distracting this time, so I'm going to keep it off of the game. I want, uh, want you guys to really look out there and see what what's out there and what's coming. So in a way, this game reminds me a lot of Subnautica, only in the atmosphere rather than the ocean. Land in a single-person craft. Emergency landing procedure completed. That voice sound familiar? <laughs> so what do we have here? Uh, broken signal. Sagittarius 2 went silent for months. Then this one signal and silence again. Sagittarius 2 would be a like a scientific outpost. None of us know what awaits you here, but if there is a chance that, that they may have found the virus, then maybe we can survive. Find the virus sample at all costs. The fate of all of us depends on you. The Ark. So the Ark must be like a mothership up there somewhere that sent us down here to find a sample of the virus so we can create some kind of an antidote. Grab the first aid kit. We read that. Looks like that's it. And for those of you who get uh, a little nauseous with first person point of view, sorry about that. I'll try my best to move slowly, but I'm going to get quite excited about this game too. So, <laughs> how's the head bob? Actually, it's not that bad. Check the database for details. So, health parameters, those four bars down there in the bottom left. But if I were to hold that down, there we go. So our immunity circle, hopefully this pauses while I do this because I want to be able to read through some of these. That almost complete blue circle there to the left, that is our immunity bar. The more sleep, food, and rest you have in water, the more immunity you have. So, immunity circle determines how hard you suffer from viruses. Value depends on other health parameters. Fatigue bar or sleep. Maximum level limits stamina allowing to sprint. Regenerate when sleeping. Uh, health bar, that's basically yeah, wounds and what have you, disease. Bad food regenerates when immunity is above 50%. Okay, so it slowly rebuilds. Hunger and thirst decreases over time from disease and certain food drinks. When I first played the demo for this, the game balance was so bad, I felt like I spent my whole time trying to catch food and drink. And it was, it was frustrating. So I kind of rage quit the game, but they've done a really good job of cleaning that up and making it a little more reasonable. I mean, this does have a normal day-night cycle. What are these guys? Machine parts. And yet you end up eating 15 times a day. So that felt way off. But now it isn't quite like that. Now you can actually sit back and enjoy the game. Go through here and explore and see what we've got. Immunity Those are... is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. And this game does tend to spam that message at you every time that little blue circle decreases a little. Kind of annoying. But those of you who have played Half-Life 2, wherever you see the red wires going from a door to a computer, because, you know, all computers connect like that, <laughs> that must be important. So we need to find a battery to put in here to get the computer to work to open the door. But what else is here? we got... Uh, uh, emergency clothing, safety clothing. A old can of water. Open the door, drop down. Not, oh, I have a flashlight. I have a flashlight. Okay. It's under there. Nothing that we can interact with. You are Reed. So this is from The Lost Expedition. Or perhaps that's kind of a chapter name. Everything's been screwed up since we found that virus. 
we're all getting sick, equipment is breaking down, and then there's this Noah situation. The power blew out again and the door is locked. I'll check if the beacon tower has a compatible battery. Okay, if I missed anything here. Items, remains, first aid kits. We saw, we picked that up inside. Old can of water. So, 20, plus 25 water and clean. That's important. You get clean and you get uh, radiated. So, we've got more machine parts. These will all be important later. Nothing down there that we can interact with. Lots of machine parts. Another one hiding back here. Now, this first episode is pretty much going to be based here on our landing spot and, and getting into our airship, which I think is that little guy up in there. I think you can just see it, the, the balloon part of it. And when we get ready to take off, we'll call this episode done. So we're coming around the corner. Nothing hiding under the bed. Okay, over here. Stairs. And one thing that I have learned, don't grab the melons until you're ready to use them. They do rot rather quickly. Uncomfortably quickly. Within a day, they seem to be rotted. We've got, an old, we've got a solid state battery up in here, which to me looks an awful lot like a fuse, but they want to call it a battery. <laughs> and so we've got, what, two melons here? Yeah, so... The melons we'll find will, if you eat them raw, it'll actually cause you to uh, have a hypersensitivity to light. Let's see, if I'm, I'm talking, so I may not be going the right direction. When we get our scanner, we'll be able to scan a lot of things, too. So there was nowhere else to go up here, right? Yeah. There is fall damage. There is damage to your ship. So we can drop down one level about this high without getting hurt, but that's about it. So that's how we came up. That's how we got here. Oh, we dropped all the way down. Okay. I thought I was dropping down into here. So we've gone this way. We went up there. Do you remember the forests? I've already played a couple of hours of this to get used to it and get a sense of what's going on. Though obviously I've lost my way oh the battery that's what I'm doing the battery to open the door then we could get to continue that's right so I've seen enough of the game to know how things work but not so much that I you know know how it ends undelivered message so apparently they contacted the ark once and then no longer again. So this is the unsent message. We were down under the dust. We found the lab where they first analyzed the virus 400 years ago. Well, that gives you some perspective. That's when it all started going wrong. Noah went crazy. He stole the sample, our airship, and broke the radio. He just left us here to die. He's dangerous. I'm just analyzing this. The airship's here. So apparently he stole it. Oh, maybe he stole it from down below the dust, under the dust, and came back to here. Okay. So the location of the sample is at the overgrown greenhouse. Remember that. A scientist lived there who studied flora from under the dust. Hydration if you want to. Level is decreasing. Yes, it is. If you want to get there, try visiting some radio towers and wind farms to get necessary devices. Be careful. The world no longer wants us. It's not a place for humans anymore. Expedition, Sagittarius 2. Okay, so we need to get food and water soon, but we are in. Okay, in means, I've still got my flashlight on. Make, make it a little easier to see on the video. Uh, first aid kit, great. Over here, stairs going up, but let's get the the lower section figured out first. So Noah went crazy, and I think we're going to find that this is Noah. He started drawing on the walls. <laughs> but he does have some old food rations and a, an old can of water. 
Though I would like to save those if I can. Noah's madness. It's all because of this dust. Noah heard voices. He was mumbling about nature surviving everything, even the fall of the world. He said he knew what to do so we could return to Earth again. He wanted us to help him to follow the voices in his head. Lunatic. We locked him in a cell for his own good, but he hid the extractor and ran off while everyone was asleep. Okay. Got to figure out what an extractor is. So, we're done here. Nothing underneath. We'll come back once we get a scanner to, to identify all these things. But let's go up here. And there's our airship. Cute little thing. I think it gets a lot bigger later. We've got dirty water. Empty bottle. We can take the empty bottle and grab the dirty water by hitting the E button, just tapping it. Hold it too long, you drink it, and you get radiated. So I gotta be aware of the controls. What do we have here? More machine parts, plastic barrel, fall damage, <laughs> a filter, so we'll use, or a condenser membrane is actually what it is. We'll explain that one later. Photophobia virus research. <clears throat> My research on photophobia virus has shown that it can be cured with lecithin. So I think they assumed at this point that you ate the melons. And now everything is bright and glary because you ate the melons. Um, raw, that is. It's best found in dust moths and other things living under the dust layer. I prepared a lure to attract these objects. Use it with the insect catcher on the airship. Lower it into the dust and wait for the catcher. The food from this eaten raw may be harmful. I'll leave a membrane from the water for the water condenser just in case some water will be needed to cook the food. Okay, so basic take sample insect lure. Oh great. So just basic food right there is what this is all about. Kind of a tutorial. But we need to get working on that soon. Let's in fact can I make that happen? Let's see here. You are water, so we'll add that to you and get the water coming in. And lure, you can shift and then click and it'll pop into it. So we're going to add the lure to here and pop out. Hold the E down and it'll drop down below into the dust layer. Way down there where you see all of the, uh, what does it look like? Sea monkeys. <laughs> Who had sea monkeys as a kid? And that's kind of fishing for moths. Meanwhile, I think we'll go ahead and eat one of these whole food rations. So, right click and we'll see our food bar go up. And I'm going to hold off on the water just yet. It'd be nice to save the ones that don't expire. So, hold the E down and it'll stop freaking out on us. And we pull up a moth. Moths like the. Uh, not that one. Like the melons have a expiration so this one rots in 23 hours and 50 minutes so we need to get other things built before then like a way to process water a way to process food and make them so they're not uh, they're not um, dangerous to us read airship to-do list I've been building a new airship for two months I see so this isn't the airship that Noah stole Okay, that makes sense. Since Noah got away with our equipment. Oh, so maybe Noah isn't here. Hmm. If only my workshop hadn't collapsed, I would have already had the airship engine research completed. So, place the rudder. That's been done. Place the fabricator. Craft the deck extractor. Extract the wall blocking. Oh, the wall blocking the workshop. And get the research station. Okay, well, there's a fabricator. Grab that. He goes inside. And temporarily, I guess we can just kind of try to tuck him in a corner. A lot of stuff to go in here. Oh, and suddenly we have a to-do list. I'll let you pause if you want to read through that. I'm going to jump into this guy. And the deck extractor is already here, but it needs a transistor. Transformer? Trans-something. That's you, right? There we go, transformer. Grab you. <clears throat> the sooner we do this, the sooner we can start building things that make our food. 
So let's... We need five machine parts and one transformer. Hold it down, it'll start to fabricate it. This guy is kind of a fun toy here. Well, they would call it a tool. But we could do that. Let's see here. Um, it's in our number one slot down below. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to pop it into over to two so it's not in our face. Let's grab this guy. Can I pick it up? Q is pick up, but the lure is in it, so that might be a problem. Yeah, doesn't like to. If you take any, if you move anything with something in it, you lose what's in it. So let's E and shift click that one over, and now Q. Hold it. There we go. Pick up. I'm gonna set him over here. Um, R. Hard to do that, but I think I can do it right there. Try to get the angle right. So now I can go back to one. Mount this guy right here. There we go. I got that right. Yep. Yeah. So, floating through the air, we've got metal, and we've got synthetics. There we go. As well as things that are in the buildings. Grab that steel over there. Iron. Boom. Oh, you stabilized the building. Oops. <laughs> Oh, there's some... They call it synthetics. I guess I think of it more like plastics, but there is actually a plastic in the game as well. But that gives us some building blocks. So pop out of that. Don't fall. Thank you. If you're afraid of heights, this game is going to freak you out a little bit. Later, I will build a much bigger deck all around this thing and make it a lot more comfortable to walk around in. Um, also, I, we can pick that up and move it somewhere else because we actually have a lot of things to deal with over here so let's do that Q there let's put them over here for a while like that though let's rotate them right there oops wrong rotation there I keep hitting the wrong button don't I gotta hit the the mouse button there it is all right pop you I said to open up this wall that allows us to get inside and get the research what do we call this the research station so e grab that and that is in the number one spot so i'll put it as a two anything else in here while we're here grab you ah, another battery i want another battery good and there's something to read there but what else do we have machine parts and you look important but you're not Nothing hiding out there. Don't fall. There's one. Okay. So what do we got? Alright. Um, still from the Lost Expedition. I managed to repair the research station. There are a few old blueprints preserved in the memory card, but the most important one is the scanner. It is necessary to complete its research and craft it. After that, it should scan certain objects in the world so we can acquire more data for blueprint research. I need a battery to run the device. I dug out this old power box from the ruins. There should be some batteries inside. Okay. Done with that. Let's go get this stuff set up. Um, control button is crouch. Now, research station is huge. So, one. So, we'll stick it here for now until we expand the uh, our ship. We can make more of these these modules and expand backwards, and even sideways, or even up and down. They will, uh, some will have ladders so you can go up and down. Insert a battery. Inventory. That's what we have so far couple of solid state batteries there's our insect lure we got to put back in got some old can water dirty water that's got to be filtered uh, dust moth has got to be cooked soon and food and water are getting a little dangerous down there as they go down your immunity goes down see the blue circle it's really starting to drop okay battery in research we we've, we've we know about these four things so far repair patches empty bottles let's grab that so we can get more water is going to then go through and research 
analyze the object or what have you and uh, show us how to fabricate new ones, empty bottles. What else is over here? Another lure, insect catcher, electric cooker. We need that right now. We need synthetics. Let's go work on that one real quick. Right there. Those are synthetics. I think it's five each. So three of them will do the job. And we'll grab a little metal while we're here. Okay. Does that give us the cooker? It does. Hold that down. Get the cooker printing. And let's get some other research going. Machine parts. So I'm thinking we have to give up a machine part in order to, you know, kind of reverse engineer it, figure out how to make our own. That's what's going on there. This is the cooker. It needs water and some kind of food to cook. So we'll grab you and we'll put you temporarily, I guess, right there. And I've noticed some of the uh, Let's Plays that are out there, folks are not realizing. It is just dawned on me to mention it. That's a door there. They would, they would work the way around the outside thinking this was a window. But that's a window. That's a door. Anyway, cooker. E gets us in there. We need water. Okay. So we need a water purifier. Is that available yet? Uh, here, water purifier. We need more synthetics. Let's do that real quick. It's nice that they just come right to me. That's metal. There we go. Synthetics. That's metal. Ah, uh, there's a synthetic. Okay, that should be enough, right? Yes, water purifier. Don't ask me how they're powered. I have no idea. This guy takes a battery. Not many other pieces do. So I guess the ship itself is somehow powered, even though there's no engine on it yet. But don't ask silly questions like that. <laughs> okay, almost formed. Printing completed. All right, so you go on a wall. Um, yeah, we'll just do that for now. Can I go any higher? Right there. All right, so we have a bottle of dirty water. We're going to dump that into there. It's going to purify it. Let's make another bottle. So let's get some more synthetics. Print another bottle. So I got something to pour it into. You take 25. Wow. So these are just floating around in the air. Incredible updrafts around here. There we go. All right, so that allows us to make a bottle. Though we have one empty bottle. Oops, hit the wrong button. Printing completed. The bottle that we emptied that had the dirty water originally. We're gonna need a bottle to take the clean out. Now we've got water to drink. Let's do drink two of those. Watch the water bar down there. We need to leave one because we need to add water to here to boil this moth boil okay first round of foods coming up let's go grab another moth uh what do i need to do i need to put the lure back on that's what i need to do right click you into there or rather shift left click you into there hold e to lower he works pretty fast this one is finding so drink dirty water or requires a bottle but I've got a bottle, don't I? No, we did, we printed it. We didn't grab it. Here you are. Empty bottle. Okay, so E. We'll pull that into our bottle. And this will allow us to start filtering that one. Great. This guy should be almost done. I wish there was a progress bar. Ah, oh, Moth is here. Hold that E down. There you are. We'll cook that one as well, though I need a little more water to cook it with. This guy is... he'll be done soon. But let's grab this moth so I could eat it right out of this. If you find your inventory is really full, then that's a good thing to be able to do. But I'm going to take it so we can look at it. So here is the boiled dust moth. It is 40 food and good for two days. Whereas this guy is 15 food and minus 5 water and minus 5 health because he's raw and only good for one day. So pretty much everything in the game that you can eat, it doubles the specs when you cook it. So we're going to 
be sure to eat the boiled one. <laughs> so see the food bar down there, kind of yellow. There we go. 40 is a good number for us. Now let's save the canned water and the canned food as much as we can. Eventually we'll get a storage module to, to store them in and not have to hold them in our inventory. So you are ready to dump. We'll put you in there. we got five water now. Let's grab another couple of drinks. Um, so right click. That one's good enough. And let's swap this out. We'll put the water in here. And grab the empty. And let's make another... I need 25, that's right. So let's grab five more of these guys. Eventually there'll be time to just sit here and fish for metals and, and what have you. And we'll get ahead on the amount of synthetics and what have you. All of these things can be torn down too, but I want to scan them first so we can see what they are before we tear them all apart. So one more. There we go pop out of you. Should be able to get one more bottle out of that. Yep. Get that one formed. Two empty bottles and we, we, when we find dirty water out there, we'll be able to bring it home with us. Okay, so again, this episode is just on this base. It's a, about an hour's worth just here. Then when we get ready to launch, we'll, uh, we'll do that next episode. But what do we got here? More machine parts around. These guys will need the deck gun right there to tear these apart into something that we can't see yet because we need that scanner so research the scanner top left corner up there is our next the next priority they'd like for us to do but boy you are just too convenient i'm going to grab you there then we'll look up the scanner see what that means ah uh, there's the ones we missed okay so complete the research on on the scanner Okay, so scanner requires, is that it over there? Yeah, it does change. Uh, five synthetics and five metals. So let's get that research going. So as we research them, it'll be available to the fabricator. And the scanner is a handheld device or attaches to your wrist. So you have been found or, or discovered. You are a what? Tool, scanner. Updates the database, unlocks new studies at the research station, which can unlock new blueprints for the fabricator. We need 20 of those, one of those, and one of those. We have enough. Okay. So think of the scanner that is in uh, uh, Subnautica. You know, the same concept. Printing completed. There you are. Put that on onto your arm and now we can walk around and figure out what what all these objects are so you are metal component and it takes the deck extractor to pull it to deal, do anything with it you are a synthetic case so synthetics plastics maybe so I will need the deck extractor to deal with those anything else in here that was uh, important it will highlight when you've got the scanner on, which in my case is in the number one slot. So when I've got the one pressed, you are glass. Okay. So now we know what glass is and you are metal. Yeah. That means, Hey, you already scanned it. All right. We haven't been in here yet and food and water are decent over in there. Or have we been in here? Actually, I guess we have, huh? Well, I think we only did this room. Okay. Get in here and grab you guys. You. You are more water. Okay. Um, that looks like an interesting tool. Apparently, we don't get to play with it. Okay. Drop down. Up. E for use. WASD moves you back, forth, right, left. There is some dirty water that we can put into our... Our bottles. Let's see. Oh, I can scan it. Okay. So, dirty water container. Contaminated with dust particles. Harmful drink only in case of extreme necessity. Alright, so turn off the scanner so I can interact with it. There we go. Put you in the bottles. So, three out of five. And don't fall off the edge. Get over here and grab that. What else is up here? 
more synthetics that takes the deck gun. Oh, it pops over there on the right. Kind of convenient. And I've got the scanner, so when I press 1, then I can do things. So you are an engineer's body. He was in charge of operating and maintaining equipment. He designed devices and adapted the resources and components he found for use. Now in the demo, this whole area up here was like a greenhouse. It was just full of those melons. And when I first played the demo, of course, I grabbed every melon up here, hoarded them, and um, they all rotted before I got to use them. So <laughs> I think they just gave up on that. I don't think I have another container. Now let's go process these. We'll leave that water for for a few moments from now. Now we can drop down from this height safely. Yeah, much higher than that and you will take some damage. Your little first aid bar down there will, will start dropping. Um, clean water, so let's dump you into there, add dirty, which gave us a clean container to grab the clean water with. Um, I have room in my inventory. Let's send one more lure down, grab another moth. I think you get three moths per uh, per lure. And if you walk away and leave that thing and it comes up and starts banging around, it will eventually uh, break loose uh, the lure and you'll lose the moth. You leave it down there or up here after a while, things start to... You know, it, it expects you to take care of it. So, kind of hanging around here for a moment. We know what these things are. So we can get rid of them now. Take all this metal. And our moth is back. Grab the glass. Okay. But all that shaking around will eventually lose the lure and the, and the moth. So hold the E. Oh. You are fat dust moth. So you're different. I've never seen one that color before. What have we got here? So, 25 food, minus 10 water, or 5 water and 10 health. Um, doesn't say anything different in the description. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I noticed it was a day and a half instead of a day for when it will rot. Okay. You go in there like that. We still have 4 or 5 waters for boiling, so we can cook 5 times with a bottle and boil. Okay, now we can leave for a while. Um... Do we have enough to make another bottle? We don't. Let's make one more. There's one. And we'll grab these while we're at it. I get you. You're out of range. You're out of range. There. So that is 32. That's enough. And let's make that bottle. And let's keep cleaning it. We want to extract everything out of this place that we can. Just make sure you get a chance to scan it first. All of these materials are going to help us out later. Helps us build a bigger airship and all the tools that we need to accomplish our mission. Okay, what was that? That was food. And, yeah, let's go ahead and eat it. So, I want to see the difference here. Oops. Um, e. Alright, dust moth and insect. That's not him. So, boiled fat dust moth. So, this gives us three days and 60 food. Wow. There might not be enough bar down there for that. So, let's hold on. Let's cook this guy. And three waters left. Boil. So we'll just hang on to that one for a little bit till we're a little bit hungrier. Okay, did we get the bottle? We did not. Nope, stop doing that. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's grab that water that was up above. Nothing on this plant? No. <clears throat> Alright, so that one's empty. I've done everything else up here except for this. There we go. Grab all of that. Drop down. That's a long for a lot further down. Drop into here. Okay. So back down is that way. Because so we've pretty much hit everything up here, right? Well, we have a few more 
And we have a bit more um, materials that we could be grabbing. Let's clean up up here a little bit. A lot of messages pop up on the sides. I have to stop and think about what's what was that noise. All right, I don't see anything else up here that is important to disassemble and take with us. So let's head back down below. We have the scanner now. So let's scan some things. So scanner is on, yes. So in here we have the biologist's body. His job was to collect and study biological samples. He was the one who was supposed to find a cure for the virus that threatens us all. Calories level is decreasing. Yep. And Noah's artwork or writings. <coughs> Noah's drawings from when he was locked in a cell by his fellow members of the expedition. Humanity, technology, and nature combine and blend together in these paintings. And I believe that hits all of them by doing one. So I'll let you kind of take a look at what he was up to. Different. <laughs> Aha. Maybe by the end of the game that'll all make sense. He seemed to have discovered something that drove him mad. All right, so back through that door. That took this battery. It'd be nice to get the battery back. Um, battery is there. Don't get a sense of how much is left. But use the computer. What else needs to be scanned in here? Anything? Does not appear to be. Up here? Melons. All right, fresh fruit with a low calorie value. Picked from bushes, they spoil quickly. Let's grab you and you. Scan you. Navigator's body, his mission was to map out directions and find resources even this far from home. He's been dead for nearly two months. The decomposition process was slowed by climatic conditions. Um, okay, so looks like an old stoplight. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything else to scan. Is there anything else I've missed? Alright, so I think we're ready to possibly leave. Going to think about that. I'd like to get that battery back. There is a landing spot. Ah, shift allows you to sprint. This landing spot here. We may land here and on this side of that door over there and grab this battery again. Um, I don't have much stamina because I need to sleep. So there is that to consider. All right, so are we basically done? We've got all the dirty water from the place. We've got all of the items that I think are here, except this one that I didn't take. Okay, what else have I not seen or what I missed? Yeah, I think we're going to call that good. So, in here, we need to cook those melons. Um, actually, the boiled dust moth will last for quite some time. Let's toss the melons in. So, E, send you in. I can do two more. We have two melons. By themselves, they last for, must have been like 15 hours. So, yeah, something like that. Boil you. Now, the melons, when they get cooked, they will give you food and water. So they're actually quite a, a good find. And later, I think they will actually be used for different recipes. Um, I think the advanced lure, the advanced bug lure, will take melons to... Uh, catch, I don't know, bigger moths, more moths. I've never made one before. Okay, once that gets cooked, let's make another lure. That's under food. Get that one available. 
That cooks quick, so here we go. Grab you, and let's just lock you in there. Okay, don't need to do anything with it yet. So soon we're going to take off here, but I need to... Well, I wish I could expand the ship at this point. I need to build a bed. I guess we can try and sneak it into here. I need to sleep soon. Oops, trying to move here. There we go. So, got to get this bar back up, or we're going to be susceptible to catching viruses. So, bed is here? Yeah. Get you cooking. And speaking of, let's grab this melon. Let's put the other melon in. And boil you. And this melon gives us 20 food and 20 water and 5 health. So let's eat you. These guys will last for almost 2 days and 2 and a half days. And let's grab some clean water and put some more dirty water in. And between the two melons, that should pretty much max out our bar. We'll take the bed. It is now dropped into space number 2 down there. Let's drop him into position like that. Kind of awkward right now. So it's such a small cabin to get everything stored into. And we don't have the ability to expand the ship yet. Otherwise, I'd build a much bigger deck out there. Right now, just the two spaces there and the two there. So watch your step. Otherwise, you're cooking. You're cleaning. We just need to sleep. But I want to grab that battery. I think the battery will eventually run out when it's down below so let's do that but grab that and eat it there we go food and water are decent let's take a quick trip so jump into here we don't have an engine do we yeah up okay how did we find an engine let's think about that engine is over here that is machine parts are you here repair patch Hmm, well, we'll get you researching. Oh, I remember. Yeah, that one was... You had to read all the notes on the sides up there as they appeared. I don't know if I can go back and find it or not. Um, to-do list? Check the studies menu. Okay. Um, everything else is to done. Studies. Scanner. We need to scan. And now I'm not seeing any hints here. Scanner, click on you. That's the hint that I missed. We need to scan the synthetic clusters floating in the air, which then opens up a whole bunch of more blueprints, including our engine. So one and can I get you? I can. Ah, and you got in the way. Okay, grab you. No, get back here. <laughs> okay, hold it, hold it. Did it make it? It didn't. There we go. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay. But now it gave us an engine and fuel, small storage box and water, condenser and membrane. Okay, that opened up a whole new world for us. That's your water condenser right there. Need another membrane to get more water. Otherwise, research there. Water condenser and membrane. Small storage box and engine and fuel. Let's get this guy going. Research that. Um, while it is doing that, what do we need to do? No need to use the cook station. This is still purifying. And we're good. Okay. So, actually, let's get the next research going. Just keep the research moving as much as you can. This guy is yellow. It means we need a plastic scrap down there in order to be able to do it. This guy though just needs metals and synthetics and we have them. So let's research the water condenser and the membranes. Otherwise fabricator. Engine? There we go. Engine's going to need more synthetics, metals, and machine parts. So let's grab some more synthetics. There's one. Gotcha. Now you can move this deck gun to wherever you need to to get a better shot at things, but this seems to work pretty good. Fatigue. Rest is recommended. Yep. I wanted to get that battery first. So can I make the engine now? I can. Get you going. We're going to need to make fuel. Then we can move over, get that battery, and then we can go to sleep. That might finish this first episode. I'm going to record at least one more, maybe, maybe a couple more tonight. 
So any comments you leave in this video or in the next video are not going to get answered for a while, at least in video. All right, you're going to take your time, aren't you? Yeah, a lot too, building an engine. Okay, we can swap you out, grab the dirty, or add dirty water. All right, so that leaves us with one empty bottle. And did you get replaced? You did not, so there's another empty bottle. You out, you in. And now we can collect more dirty water if we find it, including what's being formed. Nope, not being formed yet. Printing you done? Completed. You're done. There's an engine. Let's get the fuel. Nope, fuel needs more synthetics. Let's get the fuel cooking while we are mounting the engine. You. Oh, gotcha. They do get to be too far away. Uh, your metal. Yep, yeah, I'll grab you. But you can get overwhelmed in metal until you start building things. You don't have any storage yet. So your inventory can only hold so much. All right, basic fabricator. Let's get a fuel going. Now, engine is in space number two. I'm gonna, while I can step away from the ship before we're up in the air, and I can't, that deck is really tiny, let's look things over. We're going to be expanding out the back end here, so popping an engine here might look good, if I can just get you to mount, but it's going to be difficult later. Can I go up, up in there? I cannot, but I can mount to the side over here, so let's put you like right there. Speed right there. We can get a second one going if we want and put it on the other side. But for the moment, I think we are ready to lift off. Nope, we need fuel. Okay, grab fuel. E, drop the 50 of 100 synthetic fuel into there. So that's our basic engine, basic fuel. It gets better later. All right, shift and control. Are you up and down? And the ship will take damage, so don't smash it down onto the floor when you try to am I not in? Oh, E gets you in there. There we go. Now we can shift. There. Let's just lift up a little. Move forward. I want to go around. I'm trying to figure where that little landing pad was. Let's go grab that battery. I think while it's holding that door open it is being used up. Okay, we gotta get our tiny little deck to land on that. Is that close enough? Alright, so control goes down, and it's kinda hard to. Nope, not close enough. But let's get a little closer. Now we'll go forward some. Right there. Drop down, don't hit, don't hit. It's kinda hard to tell the depth there. In fact, I may be beyond it. I am. Well, let's see if I can just hop rather than actually land on it. Ooh. Okay. That was graceless. <laughs> let's grab you. Oh, it doesn't let you do it anymore. I think in the demo it did. Okay. Well, that was a lot of effort for nothing. Oh, wait a minute. If I turn you off? No, use the computer. No. Maybe I have to close the door. I am out of energy. Will you close? You will not. So I guess once you leave up there, the game just says, okay, you're out of here. You're done. Okay. Let's jump. There we go. And close the door. And go to sleep. Get our... Our energy bar back up. You can see the immunity going up. And it's going to take more than eight hours to uh, give us a full rest, but it will be fine enough for now. <clears throat> okay, done with that. And if we were to eat something like all oh, that, that fat moth. Now let's go with a smaller one. There's that one and a drink of water. That's, well, we'll max ourselves out. We're ready for next time. Okay, so that is the beginning of the game. We started... Well, tell you what. Next episode, we'll kind of tour this base, see where we actually started, and then we'll take off from there. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think. And I'll catch you next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.